Minecraft game where you're going to be in first person view, but it's a little different with um, raising armies and taking mobs to different piglins and the piglins take over the world and we really go through and we try to save the world and become a legend. It's going to be great. You'll notice that I'm over here this time versus below uh, simply because there's some UI elements that I want you guys to be a part of. So outside of that, uh, let's jump on into the campaign and let's start off our story mode. I think it's going to be really fun. We're going to go over a new story. Uh, we are going to... Uh, we're going to replay the tutorial. Yeah, sure. That's perfectly fine. And we're going to get started. It should be fun. Thanks so much for watching. And thanks for enjoying Minecraft Legends Episode 1. So the game takes about 10 to 12 hours to beat. Uh, I'm pretty familiar with the game already, so it's not going to take that long. We'll see. Not really sure how long it's going to be, but... I know that you guys will like it, especially if you guys are fans of the Pikmin games. Uh, the Pikmin games are, uh, you know, getting little little army troops and then like fighting with them. And sometimes they're disposable, sometimes you keep them. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this kind of game here. Anyway, let's knock this out. Gotta watch the tutorial over here and I'll give you guys a heads up of what it is. I am foresight. I'm action. And I'm knowledge. I wish we had met under different circumstances, but this world is under attack, and we need your help. Foul creatures known as the Piglins have emerged from their fiery home, and they mean to conquer this peaceful land and all the creatures that live here. We need your help to make sure that doesn't happen. But don't worry, you won't be alone. Behold, I always wanted to say that. <laughs> we present to you... Gifts! <laughs> With the right melodies from this loot, the LAs will gather your resources, keep them safe for you, and build whatever you need. Within this case, burn the flames of creation. The flames will call upon friends to fight by your side. These golems helped us shape the overworld, and now they will help you defend it. At last, but not least, this is the banner of courage. Raise it high, and this world will rise to your aid. The piglins' hunger is insatiable. They already have a foothold in the overworld. And if they are not stopped, they will devour everything. We didn't prepare the creatures of our world for this day. But we believe you can. That's why we called upon you. If there is any hope, it's you. Hello? <laughs> we don't have much time, but just enough to show you a thing or two about these tools. There's no telling what you'll Alright, cool cutscene. So that's the story. So the sooner you master these tools. Yeah, that's the story. Honestly, it's uh it's a pretty good story. I like it. Uh, you're just like reuniting all the different Minecraft like tribes and everything. So it's going to be super fun. Uh, you can go and sprint by clicking in the L stick right over here, which is great. And uh, as you guys can see, uh, with that, we'll be able to move around over here. Hello. Now let's get to work. Let's get to work. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they're going to teach us how to gather resources, which is going to be super fun. The Gather Wood Melody. Okay, so we're going to go uh, ZL, uh, ZR to confirm. Where's wood? Is there not wood over here? Oh, here's wood. That's right. Um, okay, so anyway, you're going to be playing all these different notes uh, in order to gather resources within the game. Make your way to where action is and use your loot to gather some stone. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to press action near the glowing beam of light. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, you gotta gather stone too. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna head on over to the hot bar. Uh, we're gonna press gather stone, and then we're going to press the ZR button over here. And these little uh, creatures called the Alays are going to start like tearing down the environment and then giving you any kind of stone. You can see that right down below. There's like a thousand of them uh, getting ready for us. So yeah, this is uh, this is it. And then with all of these different materials, you're going to be able to craft 
um, all sorts of different uh, characters and different uh, little army troops in order to defend yourself and uh, pretty much beat the piglins. So I'm excited for it. Yeah, Flames of Creation is interesting. Yeah, that's right. I'll teach you guys about this too. All right, so here we go. Go uh, right over here. We're going to open the chest. Light a man. All right, so we're going to press down on the D-pad. I'm going to make the cobblestone golem uh, right over here on this. It's like a summoning spot. So in order for you to actually get these golems, you're going to need to make their summoning spot. That's a spawner. That's right. All right, so we're going to call them. So you hold Y next to this, and you can spawn as many as you can. As you can see on the very bottom, each one costs uh, one lapis and one stone. So that's pretty great. All right, so if you press the Y button, just like in Pikmin, if you guys have ever played that, you pretty much rally everyone behind you. So they follow you, they move wherever you move, and then you're all set and ready to go. So I got to bring them all the way over here. This is pretty much teaching you how to play the game. That's right, if you hold the Y button, you can leave them in one spot, which is actually really, really important to do. Alright, so I'm coming over this way. We're gonna grab this, I'm gonna send them over to action. Where's action? That's the other one. Hello? Oh, so I'm just gonna press through here? There you go, that's right. So if you want them to attack wherever like the top of the camera is they're just going to run over there and start doing some attacks so pretty easy wow all right so i'm going to press the x button over here and then as you can see uh it's pretty much like a like a swarm mechanism where they're just going to go ahead and swarm whatever is in front of you and then they're just going to attack these little piglin makers. Pretty fascinating. Now take everything you've learned here into the real fight, and the piglins won't stand a chance. It is good that you are ready, as I must ask we get one. Yeah, thanks. Like, I'll test out of this. I'll teach you guys how to play this game. <laughs> this is like the tutorial, so don't worry about it. Alright. Let's jump in. Let's jump into Minecraft Legends. To have you as an ally, we'll be with you every step of the way. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be going over and trying to stop these piglins. Uh, the great thing about Minecraft Legends is that every time you boot up a game, everyone's map is different and it's like randomly generated which is so cool so the game file that i played yesterday for example isn't going to be the exact same thing as this but the concepts are going to be the same they're going to be uh, based off of you know you can find things in the forest biome you can find things in the desert biome but those are going to be randomly placed and uh, so are all the different piglin hordes and all their other things too so let's see what we got to do I'm excited for it. Like, this game is so good because it feels like you get stronger, and that's my favorite part about this. So anyway, there's my cute little avatar. And then this is, like, the, uh, like the home base, the magical well area. Welcome to our world. We would love to introduce you properly, but a village needs your help. Okay, so we gotta go find a village. Oh, look at this map. Oh, it's so different. So we can go over here and check out this village. So we're going to set our marker this way and then we are going to run through all the way over here and try to make our way over there. So now that we got our marker over there, let's do it. Uh, right now, I have a mount of the horse. There we go. All right, good, good, I will. That's right. We need some wood. 
I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna gather some stone. So as you guys are seeing, oh, he, yeah, 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 here we go. That's what I gotta do. I was gonna say, man, you better, you better give me some stone, bro. So as we're walking over there, we have some build allays and we got lapis too. This is great. So as you can see on the bottom screen right over here, uh, the blue, the blue little guys are the allay that gather resources. The yellow ones are the ones that actually build all sorts of different things for us. So anyway, we're going to make our way through this biome over here. This is the jungle biome. Watch out for the red thorn. Uh, with this, you'll be able to find the very most coveted material, which is redstone. And if you're able to find redstone over here, you're going to be set because that, yeah, you use a lot of it. Like this right over here. This is redstone, for example. I don't have the ability to harvest it yet, but once we do, we'll be we'll be set. So I'll, I'll keep my eye out for that. These are some bounce caps that allow you to bounce a little bit higher. Honestly, doesn't matter. Uh, but as you can see on the very top bar over here, we're going to see that there are going to be some different things in the area. Oh, what was that? Okay. Top bar shows like the cardinal directions. And sometimes there's like a point of interest uh, where you want to really focus on. So anyway. So we're going to head over this jungle and see what's up. So yeah, we're... The Allays are still collecting all sorts of resources. The piglins are relentless. So we're good. We're just literally taking a beeline straight over to this place. And here we go. This is the village. Excellent. The village. Get over there, okay, so there's 20 piglins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an army full of the... Like the wooden ones, because the wooden ones are really good against piglins. And I'll show you guys real quick. We'll make quick work of these guys. So we only have two different types of golems. Uh, the wooden go golems, like fire shots, like their little pellet, little pea shooters. And then the stone golems are good for tearing down buildings. And there's not going to be any buildings in this area over here. So what we have to do is we have to jump in and uh, just fire a whole bunch. So here we go. I'm going to go over here. We're going to make the uh, plant golems. Golems. And I'm going to make about 20 of them. Because if you look in the bottom right corner. Uh, if you look in the bottom right corner, you can see the flames of creation. It shows uh, out of 20. So that means that I can have about 20 of these units over here. So I'm going to grab all 20 of them. And we're just going to dominate. Let's go. So as you can see, they just start firing away. And then you can also join in on the fight with some A button presses right over this way. So if you press the A button, you can actually, uh, you know, do a little weak hit. But it totally helps out with disrupting any kind of enemies that are nearby. So we have to destroy three more of these piglin and then we're all set. Done. Okay, easy mode. So this is the village fountain. And we have to somehow restore it. Danger is over, but the village is devastated. The piglins have ruined the fountain. A carpenter hut will repair nearby structures. Get the LA's to work building one for you. There we go. Good. Okay, so we built a carpenter hut. And what the Carpenter Hut does is it uh, it really recovers any kind of structures nearby, which is super fun. So anyway, they're going to do that. While they're doing that, I don't really have anything else outside of... Uh, I guess I could start building some walls over here. Because that is one of the best things that you can do to defend this area. Oh, what a anyway. Relief. The water flows again. The water flows again. Excellent. All right, so you can see over here that we have the um, we have the village, and in this village, oh man, I got that off center. Dang it! In this village, we're gonna have to defend it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually building some arrow towers uh, to really focus on getting some nice defenses. And if you guys have ever played any tower defense games, then you are going to be right at home with Minecraft Legends for sure. So, just going to be doing this. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole bunch there. It costs about, like, what, 30 a piece to do one of these? So, like, I'm good. 
but I want to make sure that I get it like nice and easy. So this is kind of like Animal Crossing 2, right? You have everything like on a grid. It's all grid based. I put one a little off center, but that's okay. Sensitivity is a little off. Alright, so here we go. This is going to be very helpful to us a little bit later on if we spend this time right now just um, getting the pieces here. And I'm out of wood. Okay, so that's good enough. That's some really good defense. Those are arrow towers. We should be all set. Uh, there's another village under attack, so what we need to do is we need to head on over to this village right over here. So let's head on over there. We're going to head south and uh, hopefully find some wood along the way. This is some... I think this is coal. It might be some coal. I don't really have it, but I gotta find wood. Yeah, there's no wood inside this dry savanna, so... Oh, watch out. Yeah, watch out for those thorns. Anyway, yeah, things are looking good. This game's super fun. So, what we have to do is we have to establish all of the villages first. By establishing the villages, they'll actually hook you up with a ton of materials throughout the game. So making sure that they're taken care of at all times is very, very imperative. You got to do it. And if you uh, run through any of these little uh, wheat things right over here, they make you go way faster. So anyway, there's a tundra over here. I don't know what this is. That's not anything special. But I'm hoping that we could come across a very uh, interesting landmark soon. Anyway, here's another village. We've got 20 of these guys, so let's knock them out. Is it our hero? Another village, it seems. And more piglins. Off again. Should we go warn them? As much as it hurts our hearts to see this happen, we must trust that our hero will see them through it. Okay. You can still save them. Yes, we can. There's only 15 of them, which is not bad. So we can just come right in here and uh, and start attacking them. I've got about 20 of these little pea shooters. So they're just going to really back me up while I uh, swipe them with my sword. Unfortunately, in this game, you're not able to do any kind of upgrades to your sword. Like diamond sword or like gold sword or anything like that. It's all just like a, like a melee hit. So really nothing. We thank you. And the villagers want to thank you, too. Go to the village chest at the base of the fountain for a surprise. Great. The piglins are rallying on the outskirts of the village. I think another attack is on the way. Better build up some defenses while there's still time. Wow. The villagers are peaceful, but want to help where they can. As gratitude, you can count on their resourcefulness to keep you in the fight. They'll keep gathering materials for you while you're out saving the day. All right, so they hooked me up with like a thousand wood. I don't know if you saw that. Um, but that's actually really awesome. And I put one like one square off and that's gonna bother me. <laughs> I'm like so meticulous about the placement over here, man, but I wanna do it quick. I wish there was a faster way. I want them to be right next to each other. Otherwise, if you don't put them right next to each other, then like a little piglin is gonna squeeze through and start attacking the fountain. And you don't want that to happen, like, at all, so... And there's actually a lot of things that you can place in this game to help protect the villages. And later on in the game, you'll know that some of the... Some of the bosses will actually attack the village. And you're gonna have to do a really interesting tower defense uh, kind of game if you've ever played a tower defense game before. Uh, that one was very off place. Not a problem. I'm just gonna make this little fortress of arrow shots. So in case anyone wants to mess with these guys, I got plenty of wood to do it. Yeah, that looks like a pretty cool fortress. What do you guys say? Rate the fortress out of 10. Alright, piglins are close. Where are they close? What are they talking about? Oh, okay, okay. So what's happening over here is that they are... Uh, the piglins are coming to attack us. That's right. So we built some defenses around here. There's actually a lot of uh, wood around this area. So what I could do is I could send my build... Or some my gathering allays. And then grab whatever um, wood resources are in the area. So that I can have more wood in order to essentially um, go through and just knock them down. 
and have all the wood that I need. So it's like multitasking, as you know. Okay, great. Check your compass to see where they're coming from. Oh, here we go. Oh, let's get them, boys. Yeah, so they're melee units. Oh, actually, some of them are ranged. That's actually fun, man. Yo, we get to park ourselves right over here. One of my units already got KO'd. As you can see, I have 19 of them. So, I think we're going to be fine. Alright, you guys got this. I don't need 19 versus, like, 5. So, I'm going to take a spin around the other areas and see if there's any other piglins coming through over here. The only thing I could see on the compass is right by east. And then there's, like, a little flashing sign over here. So, if I park these guys over here, we're going to attack from two fronts. Uh, as soon as they get a little bit closer. So, that's super fun. Some of them are getting lit up, though. I should help out, though. I think it's like three sword swipes in order to knock them out. Just a little longer and you've got this. So, anyway, we should be good. We've got a, a, a gate. I don't necessarily need a gate, but... Yeah, I mean, I could. I could actually do that. That's a, that's pretty smart. But we'll, we'll mess around with it. You could build like a full-on perimeter in this village if you wanted to. Right now, it's just waiting around, seeing where they're coming from. Oh, they're coming from this side. Uh-oh, watch out. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Especially you. Let's go. Oh, they're attacking that fixture by firing arrows at it. Go get them! Yeah, this is like a charge almost. We're like, we're just going at them. You guys want some? Let's go. Oh, they're just attacking the wildlife. They're just attacking a wolf right now. Get out of here. Alright, so I got 15 for 20. I lost a couple units. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay, they're coming from this way. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw all of them there. Oh, and there's some behind me too. Okay, no worries. I need some of these boys. Come on, let's go. Give me half of them. The attack is over, but some piglins remain. That's right. Some of them remain. Knock them out. Here we go. We're gonna charge these guys, and we just have to knock out four, and then we win. That's it. Boom. Done. Easy mode. Got it. Minecraft Legends. Pretty cool so far, yeah? I like it a lot. You've done it! <laughs> Village saved! We knew you'd do it. The villagers are thrilled that you defended their fountain. They've put some extra resources in the chest for you. As yeah, baby. You. you are doing well. But Piglet I need some stone, though. Easily. Even now, they prepare an attack upon another of our villages. But this time, we have the advantage. If you can shut down the piglin outpost surrounding the village, we might be able to push back this invasion. That's right. So right now I'm finding some stone in the overworld in order to gather it, because I'm looking really, really low on stone. Here's uh these this is what stone looks like in the game. Right over here. So if you use one of your gathering allays, you'll be able to grab that. Anyway, so they're gonna go grab that stuff. We're gonna come right down here to the south, uh, with some of our units, and uh, we should be all set and ready to go. We gotta go knock out these little outposts. So I think knocking out the three outposts is a good uh, good pause point for now. We'll see what else happens. But I do have to make five more units. And especially, well, since it's an outpost, uh, bringing the stone golems is going to be very, very helpful because inside the outpost, there's going to be a lot of different structures that in order to beat the outpost, you're going to have to destroy the structures. And these little rock boys, uh, are actually really good at doing so. So anyway, <clears throat> so as you can see over here, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to make some cobblestone golems here. All right, all right, cobblestone golems ready. I have five spaces for them, so we're really gonna only put five of them in our inventory, which is great. All right, so outside over here, taking a look in, what we have to do is we have to get up there. So one of the things that we can do inside this area is I can actually make a ramp straight up <clears throat> so that we can kind of make our way up there. And then I can pretty much highlight the area that I want them to attack and then they'll just pretty much charge while they're over there so I'll just hang out over here and watch out so we got my rock guys over here I got my little oh dude I only have like two shooters with me 
Okay, so that's very inefficient. So what I'm going to do... One of the things, remember that we had like 15 of them? If you go over here to this thing and you hold the A button, you can actually really call your entire army. Because sometimes they get left behind as you're running around. So you want to make sure that your full army is here so that you don't uh, miss out on any possible attacks. So anyway, now we have a bunch more guys coming over here firing at it, and we were able to beat that up. So we're going to grab all of our guys. We're going to aim for this thing. This little thing is actually making piglins. So you can see over here that we're firing our little pea shots, and the, the stone golems are actually doing a lot of melee damage, like right over to it. They're just like punching, which is really fun. And we got our entire lineup right over here just like firing at them, so this is perfect. That thing will go down in like the next two seconds. So while they're doing their work, it's really helpful if you just kind of pick off any little guys while they're doing that. Otherwise, your golems are going to be uh, losing health. You might lose up one of them, right? All right, here we go. So then we're going to go for this structure right here. We're going to aim everyone over there. We're going to focus target. Uh, if you press the ZR button, that's exactly how you focus target with that. So hold ZR. And then the X button is a great way of just kind of aiming all of your troops to really focus on one thing at a time. Versus, like, having them go do whatever they think they're going to do, right? Easy. Look at that. So this thing's going to be done in a couple seconds. As you can see, everyone's firing. Except for this guy. Alright, so, this outpost... I think it's done. Is done. Yeah. There are more piglins out there. There's no time to waste. Cool. Alright, first outpost done. That's a little taste of exactly what Minecraft Legends is. You go to the outpost, you knock them all out, uh, and then you really try to eradicate the threat of the overworld with all the piglin. And of course there's going to be creepers, there's going to be skeletons, whatever you remember from like OG Minecraft, like the original Minecraft game, they're all here, which is super fun. The world is waking to the war. Where will this lead? All right, let's do this. So we've got our units right over this way. I'm going to go over to the next area, which is... I believe it's like right here. We'll be fine by going that way. Oh, was there a point of interest near me, though? That's the question. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of points of interest in the game, and you do want to go find them. Uh, if you find the creeper village, for example, you'll be able to find a whole bunch of like wild creepers and you can rally them in order to join your army. And if you guys know Minecraft and creepers, they're actually very powerful, but they really only have one move and that's to run up to something and then explode themselves. So yeah, they're kind of, uh, they're kind of good, but it's kind of a one shot thing. All right, yeah, here we go. Let's do this work. All right, so we're going to attack this thing first, the structure. I'm going to be attacking any of these uh, piglins that come over this way. Yeah, we got 19 units over here. I could make one more, but honestly, it's not worth the, uh, the resources. So as you can see over here, we're really just destroying this thing. It's a piglin pit and a nether spreader. So the nether spreader is what we're attacking right now. As you can see, nether, spread, nether Spreader is done. We're going to go over to Piglin Pit, knock this one out. There we go. Good. And you can see this Lapis drop over here. If you think about Lapis in the game, it's pretty much a pretty much like a life currency. Per every like one Lapis, you can make a Golem. So I've already ma I got maxed out 250 of them. I don't necessarily need too many more. Uh, yeah, that's as many as I can carry, so I'm, I'm honestly good right here. So all these guys are firing at that. I got my five little golems doing the work. The piglin spreaders are making more piglins, which is fine. Uh, we're going to aim for this little thing right over here. And then we got two more, so we should be fine. Let's grab all these guys and uh, focus target. So yeah, as you can see, uh, there's not anything you could do with the sword against any structures. So, really, it's just, you're kind of waiting around. If you do see any piglins, you can swipe your sword at them. It's about maybe, like, three hits in order to knock them out. So, anyway. Yeah, here we go, man. We're doing some work. This is the second outpost. We'll be done in the next couple seconds here. Boom. 
So this is really good if you have the stone golems, right? The stone golems do amazing work against these fixtures. And then these little pea shooter go golems are really all about um, just like attacking the different piglins. So you'll have to really take a look at what you want to do and what you want to bring per area, right? All right, keep going, friends. Woo! So there we go. Okay, so while they're doing that, instead of, like, waiting, uh, I can come over here and gather some stuff. Like, it's a forest, so I can essentially gather some more wood if I need to. I just want to make sure that I'm, like, 100% maxed out on wood. I've got at least 100 or so doing things. And here we go. Oh, we, okay, so we destroyed that one. Or we almost did. Come on, man. Let's go, friends. You got one job. Alright, so these guys are knocking that last thing out, and I'm maxed out on a thousand wood right now, and I don't see any iron anywhere, so we'll just have to hang out for a little bit. We'll have to hang out for a little bit and see. Boom! Easy mode, let's go. Easy. Alright, I think we could take one more. I think we take out one more piglin outpost. Let's go do that. And then we'll we'll call it. This is gonna be the first of the piglin outposts uh yeah the first little clump of them now there's nothing else that kind of hurts you in the overworld like you can swim all of your units can swim it's not like pikmin where like only the blue ones can swim right and if you put any other ones they drown and you got to go call them out of the water no it's not like that in this game they all just really follow you but the game does they do tend to get lost sometimes and sometimes you can't really summon them which is really interesting um, but anyway, here we go. So we made it here. We got 19 units over this way. Uh, as you can see over here, we can't go in the lava. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a ramp uh, right over here to over there. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to go right across here. We clearly underestimated the capacity for corruption. So uh, right now we're going to be attacking the gate. While they're attacking the gate, I'll take a look around and see what's up. Yeah, so there's many different gates over here. We're just going to be storming the first gate. That Yeah, we don't have to break all the other gates. And it looks like there's only one fixture, which is like a piglin something or rather. Yeah, it's like a piglin maker. So anyway, we're really just firing over here. The little go golems are doing their little arm thing. It's pretty cute. So I don't have anything to farm in this area. And this is actually some weird, like material and you can't really build on this red material whenever you're near an outpost so if you want to build something you got to build something all the way over there and then make your way through all right so we made it through let's go friends all right so i'm gonna go focus target over here there we go so focus target is really just going to be focusing on them attacking whatever target i want so they're going to ignore anyone that comes near them. So it gives me something to do. Like I'm just going to be out here really just attacking any piglin that come out. So as you can see over here, our team is actually looking pretty good. I really only lost one unit. So don't worry about that. Boom, boom. Yeah, knock these boys out. Sorry, piggies. There we go. Excellent. Okay, there's a couple more structures over here. Uh, there's this one right this way. It's another piglin maker. I forget what it's called, but... We don't need to be worried about official names. There we go. We're firing. Firing squad on it. Okay, so once we're done with that one, I think that's it. I don't see any other guys or any other fixtures floating around over here. So I hope that that's the end. And every time you beat these fixtures, you're going to get something called uh, Prisma Light. Something, I don't know. It's the blue currency right underneath me over here. The one that I have 110 of. That's like your most premium currency in the game. Because it allows you to upgrade stuff. So, whenever you see structures, do knock them out. Because we had 110, and now we've got 120 over here. Which is perfect. Apply the right pressure, and even the tallest tower will fall. Easy. There we go. That's three outposts in the first section of the game. Oh, our curious creeper is back. And they brought a friend. do we will find out soon enough
All right, perfect. Prismarine. Bring it to me at the will of fate, and I'll show you how to build something that will be very useful for you. Okay, so that's what it's called, Prismaline. That is the really awesome material that you're going to need in the game. So I think this is a, a perfect stopping point uh, after we're done with this little cutscene over here. Knowledge? What are you doing out there? I'm working on a little something extra to help the hero. Sweet! As you can see, uh, we now have uh, a new new type of golem. There we go. So if we open our songbook uh, right over this way. This is where all the wonderful melodies you learn will be kept. Now That's right. And turn the pages. There you go. Now choose the structure that improves your loot to play the iron melody. Yeah. We, so we were. Yeah, we want that. We'll we'll do this real quick. So uh, bringing this to the hot bar, I need to do that really quick. How do I customize hot bar? Oh, here we go. Good, good, good. So I put that on the hot bar. And I'm going to go gather iron. Uh, what we want to do with that is we want to place these structures around these wells here in order to uh, pretty much improve your skills within the game. Done. So we've discovered iron by doing that, and since we have iron, now we can make a couple different characters. We've got some uh, grindstone golems, and we have the mossy golems, which is perfect. So, good start. Really good start. Alright, so here we go. What we're going to do right now is we're going to save and leave. That's going to be it for episode one of Minecraft Legends. Uh, I'm going to be saving and leaving a lot within this game, just to make sure that we actually save. There is an auto-save feature, but on Nintendo Switch, the game doesn't run as smooth as what I would hope for. But either way, Minecraft Legends, there we go. So on our next episode, I'm really wanting to see what we can do about gathering some more iron, uh, gathering some more uh, wood, stone, seeing what piglin villages uh, are, or what villages where the piglins are taking over, and then uh, really just opening up the game. So you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.